Troubles continue after last month's big winter storm, and now some tenants in Todd are being evicted. They say after their apartments were heavily damaged by the freeze. KTK's Frank Jefferson explains the problem isn't just moving out, also the time frame. They were only given seven days to go. Here's the story. Ronald Titus has lived at the Cascades for almost a year. He says he loves his neighbors, but he's sad some things are changing. And judging by the moving vehicles I've seen here in the last three or four weeks, uh, there would probably be at least 40, 40 units. The winter storm left parts of the complex unlivable. Owners had to ask the people with the most severe damage to leave. Titus told me after seeing so many of his friends and neighbors leave, the one move out to hurt the most was Russ and Heather. It's not that I can't go see them or visit them, uh, you know, once they get situated, but it's just... It kind of hurts you. You develop friendships when you live in communities such as this. The company gave tenants only seven days to move. Many say a week to pack up an entire home doesn't seem fair. Attorneys at Roberts and Roberts say both the renters and the complex have their legal rights. Uh, seven days, it, this is a gray area of the law, so that seven day period is probably reasonable uh, in terms of what the law says. Uh, whether it's fair is a different story. Titus says he sees the issue from both sides. What his friends went through? 30 days I could understand maybe, but seven, play, seven days to get out and you have virtually the whole state messed up. And the choice the company made. You're worried about tenants getting ill and then you, you know, telling them they have to get out and I, I, who makes that decision? That's, that's a rough one. A difficult decision, leaving the former renters in a difficult situation. Frank Jefferson, KETK News.